Hey, what's up? I'm Scott Lindsay with the 1969s, and I'm going to be reviewing a Dan Electro today. This guitar, um, I, I got it over Christmas. Uh, my wife bought it for me, and uh, I just always thought it was a cool-looking guitar, and and uh, was hoping that it had a pretty cool retro sound, just a different sound. I always look for guitars that have a slightly different sound to it, and it does. It's got a. Um, to me, it reminds me of a, a Telecaster. But it's it's got a little dirtier kind of maybe that's because the, the pickup's not so far forward. Um, I mainly play on the neck pickup here, um, but it 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 definitely has one of um, one of my favorite sounds as far as like a, a good live um, performance. You know, with my band, um, it it has it has a bite to it, a really cool bite. It has a really strong bite if you're on the back pickup, you know. But for the most part. Uh, I keep it on the front pickup there to get that good thick warm tone so, and I even back my tone off a little bit you know but I'll give you a look at the guitar the neck is is it's it's a very different feeling neck if you have a massive hand um, this will probably feel like a toothpick um, this is a very small neck um, but it, it 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 just for some reason it works well it has a great feel to it um, the, I'll give you a look at it here so this is the reissue. This is not the original, obviously. Great action on it. It's got a, like some kind of plastic looking finish here and it almost has some kind of vinyl here that runs around the outside that reminds me of like some trailer, some kind of trailer siding or something. Um, but yeah, maybe that's one of the reasons it gives it the good sound. It also has, uh, you can see where they put it together right there. A little stretch. But um interesting knobs here you only got the two knobs the volume and the tone there and uh like i mentioned it's, well, it's got a, a, a metal nut here and like i mentioned the neck here is super fast it feels really really good and i play a lot of slide stuff too and it works well on the slide stuff even though the action is pretty low uh, it's just set up well right here i, I love this guitar um, what else can i say about this guitar uh, like I mentioned, it's got a really cool sound. I'll play, play a little bit for you here in a, a few seconds. Um, bad thing though, there, there were some bad things that I noticed on this. this. This is really, this is a pain in the ass right here. When you string this guitar, total pain in the ass. It's, it's, it's this weird thing that you put them in this way and then they loop over. And I know that's, um, sometimes people do that on Les Pauls and things. It gives you a better sustain. Um, but this is a weird setup and you'll, you can see where you're going to scratch it up right here from pulling the strings through and over. Um, I think I have some video footage and little tips and things I can show you on doing that, um, you know, to pull it through, get a screwdriver or something like that. All right, so uh, back to the guitar again. The only other thing that, that I want to tell you guys about is these tuners are crap. Um, like a lot of, I know a lot of Gibsons, there was a certain year where they, they, uh, they had these really crappy tuners, and I think these are the same kind. The first time I was stringing up this guitar, the A string, as I was tightening it, it started feeling really weird, and then all of a sudden it just uh, shaved and ripped all these gears in here. It was completely... Uh, I couldn't even play it, so I had to throw that one away. I wrote uh, Dan Electro on their website. They have some kind of link that you can uh, email, and somebody, somebody's supposed to respond. Of course, they never responded. So I had to order a whole set of these off of uh, eBay. It was the only place I could find them. I couldn't really find any anywhere else. I do like the way they look. They're kind of really, you know, the satin finish on these things. Um, but I uh, put that one on there, and they're okay for now. Might have been a defect, but uh, Gibson as well, you know, there's time, if you get, uh, I have a Flying V, and these were total, total crap. So um, I know that was when they, they had the years when they were doing some shoddy work. So, um, but uh, it's all together now. It plays great. It sounds great. It's one of my favorite. It's a fun guitar. It's actually really fun to play. Um, and it, it looks funky. I know uh, Jimmy Page played some of these, and uh, like I mentioned, I would I would recommend this guitar. It is a great guitar, fun to play, um, great sound, 
like I mentioned, the only downside would be this bridge is kind of weird, the way it works, um, and uh, these tuning keys are, are, are pretty crappy. But other than that, great sounding guitar, highly recommend. <laughs> Thank you. 